Adventure Trev, great location for a Sunday night now. Yeah, did you bring the script? What did you do, the script? <laughs> Okay, you've got your script out, you're happy. Well, <laughs> I can hardly read it in this sunlight, can I? <laughs> Who suggested outside, you know, broadcast? Well, this is this is a first for the um, Legs Down Outside Broadcast Department, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great day here in uh, Berwick on Tweed. Lovely view, absolutely beautiful. Not as good as the last view, but this is more suitable because we've got the microphones. Yes. And, we, and we, it's not a script, it's a running order. Yep. Yeah, but Trev, there's not enough paper in the world to put down what you want to say. Oh dear, the insults I have to go. Yes. Right, anyway, the news. The news. This week. Yes. <laughs> there ain't no news because it's, it's all current. It's That's what right, we're yep. doing, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. So, so anyway, how did it all start? Because we left Summer's Wood on Monday, but the last day there... Yes, we filmed our last one on Saturday, yeah. and the snow come Saturday night, and actually settled, didn't it? It did, it was uh, quite a lot really. But fortunately, the most important thing was, we still managed to make it to the pub for Sunday lunch. And one of the best Sunday lunches I've yep. had in a very, very long while. Yep, went back to the White Lion at Hampton and Arden. Excellent. Absolutely beautiful, Excellent wasn't it? Excellent pub, staying yeah. at Summers Woods or any site <coughs> around that area, because Chapel, uh, Chapel Lane's near there as well. Oh, it's a bit closer to Birmingham, but yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not, not far, I don't far. think, no. It's worth going to that pub, mm. though, especially for Sunday lunch. Yeah. So anyway, we set off on our journey. Monday morning, minus two or whatever it was. Yeah, it was a bit chilly, wasn't it? Yep, um, but the, the roads were clear. Um, yeah. We had a good journey up, actually, and funnily enough, the further north we got, the warmer it got. Yeah, it seemed bizarre, yeah. didn't it? Going north, <laughs> yep. you know, and getting yep. warmer. Yeah. And they hadn't had the snow, had they here? No. Well, they'd had the previous cold belt. East from the Beast, part yeah. one. Yeah. And I think they had yeah. that a lot more because some of that was still laying about, yes, weren't it? Yes, it was, yeah. But, but the actual Beast from the East, part two, yep. they didn't. No. We're on the way for part three now. Yeah, terrific. <laughs> terrific. <laughs> anyway, so yes, we arrived. Beautiful site. We were quite surprised, actually, weren't we? Yep. Um, we we, we heard expect. good things about it from from a couple of friends who'd stayed yeah. before. But I mean, the views, as you can see, I mean, they're just stunning, aren't they? And Patsy just sitting up over there. Is yep. Really enjoying the views. Yep. I think we we there was very few people on site when we got here. It's um, really full, so we had a it? good good choice of pictures. But yeah, it is now. It's yeah. Really full. It's it's very popular. I can see why. Yeah, so can I. There is a word of warning, and, yep. and we have had people mentioning yep. it. It's not bothering us one little bit, no. is it? But the railway line. The railway line is just at the back of the site. Yeah. Um, I think there's only really the site, the caravans right at the back of the site. Yeah, but you're going to hear it a bit more. I mean, we're just yeah. over there, so we're not that far not away. That far. Trains, well, you might hear it actually come by while we're filming. I'd be surprised this. if you don't, because <laughs> they've been quite frequent, but I've not found them intrusive at it all. It doesn't bother us, no. does it? I think no. the first train is six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't sure. recall hearing it, so... And I don't yeah. recall hearing the last mm. one, so I'm not sure which no. that is. But but it's a word of warning, you know, if, if, if you're going to moan about trains, don't come here. Yeah. Because um, they are quite regular every 20 minutes or something, aren't they? That's right, so, yeah. But apart from that, do you know what I mean? It's a yeah. beautiful site, it's well kept. Yep. The facilities are, are just excellent. Yeah, I think um, they've probably been refurbished at some point. Yeah, um, really But good. they're looking very smart, always been clean and tidy, never had to wait. So, we are yeah. doing a site tour. I don't know when it'll come out, but it will be out in the next no. week or so, or or sometime. <laughs> um, yeah, so you will see it from the site tour, hopefully. Yep. And there is already out a site arrival vid. Yeah, yep. uh, so pretty easy site arrival, really. Pretty straightforward. The only thing you've got to watch is after the last turn, the speed bumps. But you other can, than that, you can avoid them. But I would no. recommend you don't. No, because, because otherwise you've got the very sharp hairpin. Sharp hairpin, so it's not good, is it? Bigger units love all you, all you trouble got to do is making just, that turn. Just be aware of them. There's only four of them, isn't mm -hmm. there? I think there's four. Um, just I don't be know, aware. I wasn't counting. <laughs> I think there's four. Anyway, right, our first day reel was on... Tuesday. Tuesday. Back on the road on Tuesday. And I think old Rosie was quite pleased to be... Unencumbered by Patsy for a for a little <laughs> yeah, while. She was. Um, <laughs> it was um, 
We had what I can only describe as a wonderful drive. Yep. And we were lucky, lucky enough, really, to have a wonderful day. Yeah, it was we? like this, wasn't it? It was just absolutely beautiful. Cold, cold but bright. It was. It well, was it really, really even nice. That cold was it? Because the wind, there weren't that. No. It weren't windy. Um, and yes, it was very much like today, where you're sitting here in just yeah. a shirt. Yep. Yeah. So it must be almost tropical. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So, but but yeah, it was a great drive. And what was our first? First stop was uh, Eymouth, or Eymouth. Oh, that beautiful harbour. Um, just obviously because we're just inside the Scottish border here, yeah. so just over the border in Scotland. Lovely, Lovely harbour. Lovely harbour, weren't it? Um, really Town was, do you know what I mean? Like all little fishing towns. It was, you know, a few shops. It was pretty quiet actually, but pretty sort quiet. of round where where we stopped for that drink and that was quite nice. Yeah. There's a little promenade there, weren't there? But it's the harbour that makes yep. it, and it's worth, mm. you know. Just go down there, you know, and have a look at the harbour. It's really yep. nice. And if you do the beautiful. drive up to the holiday park, yeah. you get some cracking views overlooking the beach. Some museum as well overlooking the harbour. Can you remember what it was called? No. No, not at all. <laughs> it was closed. <laughs> Man, if we think of it, you'll put yeah. some link here, won't you, or something? Yeah. Another <laughs> educational legs down video. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, from there, where did moving we go? on? We well, we kept once we turned off the A1, we kept off it for most of the way. Yep. Um, hugged the coast where we could. Uh, St Abs, do you remember that the drive through Coldingham? Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. But what a drive down to the harbour. Yeah, fantastic. Oh. It's your archetypal little fishing village, isn't That's it? That's a big word. Yes, yeah, good word, isn't it? Archetypal. I don't even know what it means. No, I've got to look it up. <laughs> I was going to say today, know what it means. It's a very nice picture postcard fishing village. Okay. Has, yes. Is that better? That's better. Yes. Right. Um, but it, it's quite steep down there, isn't it? It is, very yep, narrow, yep. So Actually, there's not too much parking down there either. Okay no. at our time of year, but, yeah, um, but uh, when, when very, we went. Very, very, very nice when mm. you get down there. You could just sit there all day, couldn't you, really? Yeah, it's lovely. It's really nice. Um, well, no, I'll carry on for now. Where, where was Will it? you? Yes, I'm going to carry on. Right. Coldingham Sands. Coldingham Sands. Yeah, so you come back from St Abbs towards Coldingham Village. We didn't stop in the village, but the village looked very, very nice. Which looks nice, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's a pub. Um, there's a pub. <laughs> yeah. It was a bit early even for us. Yeah, but down at the Sands, yep. what surprised us there was, it was a real surface paradise, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, you could even tell, I mean, the, the sea was pretty benign when we was there, but you, can st you could still oh, see the, the rifts, couldn't you? Good, you? And know? judging by sort of the shop. Than by yeah. the hotel that is very popular it's, it's surface. Another, that surface. Just go down there, it's just mm. beautiful, isn't it? Yep. It really was yep. superb. Yep. Um, and you know, it's it, it's well worth a drive and a walk on the beach, isn't it? Yep. Even if you're not a surfer, go yeah, and have a look. It's just beautiful, it really was. It just surprised me because you don't associate the North Sea, especially well, this far up. Surfing beaches, no, no. but, but, and, but and clearly it, they exist, yeah. Clear, clearly they exist. Mm. And it really was, weren't it? There was mm. even a surf shop there, weren't yes. there? Yes. Next to the pub. Yep. So it really is yep. a surface beach. If you like surfing, get down here. It's, oh mm. no, get up here. Yes. <laughs> that's right. They may have noticed, that's what I was just going to say. What's that? Uh, there's no liquid refreshments. No, there's not. No. No. In fact, my throat's getting awfully dry. Yeah. I'm no. not sure I'm going to make it to the end. No, no. The reason being, uh, we're doing this because we wanted to do it outside. So we could go out for a pint later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so rather than spoil, and and although the pub is just down here to the left, there's one down there. Yep. Yeah, five minute walk. Yep. No more. Um, it doesn't do food. It's a great pub, mm, though, isn't it? Good, um, good sort of locals. Yeah. yeah. The beer really was really friendly boozer. Well, because we like real ale. You know, yeah. It, it, it weren't the best for the real ale, but no. it was one of the most immaculately kept pubs. Mm. I couldn't believe it. It was really nice, really friendly as well, wasn't yep. they? So, but they don't do food, so we've got yeah. to have a drive out, yeah. haven't we? At so. the risk of getting back on topic, oh, yeah. shall we carry yeah, on carry before on. the battery runs out? Yeah, but they were going to notice there was no drink, weren't <laughs> yes. they? Right, really. carry on. Where, where after that surfing beach? Uh, Dunbar. It's on my list here, but not the yeah. sun. Oh, Dunbar, yes. Dunbar. Dunbar, well, what can nice, you say nice, nice wide high street. Yeah, it, it, it looks as if it's gone through some... Bad it's had some tough times, times tough yeah. Times in the um, but the walk, if you go to the end, a little roundabout, and you go down to the yeah, to the harbour there, or there's two harbours in effect, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, it's another one of them places that if 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 you were to, to, just to drive in, yeah, you could you could have missed the best bit, yeah, because the high street and everything else, you could look at this. And well, think, oh, shops are shops, stop. aren't they? You know? yeah. um, Having said that, though, we had that lovely tea and cake in Grays. 
yeah, I we think did. it was called. It was beautiful, yeah. Lemon and ginger, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Beautiful, it was that was. It was. But the best bit about Dunbar is, yeah. is again, down at the harbour, yes. isn't it? Yes, yep. They've built some sort of memorial there yep. as well, haven't they? Yep. And, and, and you've got the remains of the castle there too. And the remains, yep. yeah. But it, it really was mm. beautiful, weren't it? And you get great views looking along the coast yep. from up you there Yeah, you just well. see old Bass Rock, which yeah. we'll come to, yeah. come to but, shortly. But yeah, so don't, if you go f drive through Dunbar, don't give it a mm. miss because the high street don't look up to much. Yep. Get out, have a look at the harbour. Mm. Around there, there's the lifeboat as yep. well, isn't there? Yep. In fact, we went in the lifeboat centre. We did. We bought in a, the shop, yep. We bought something in there, didn't we? That's right, yep. So, yes, it's it's well worth a, a visit just for the harbour. Yep. Forget that, well, unless they want a cup of tea. That's yeah. China oh. cups as well. China cups. Tasted lovely. Anyway, going on further. Well, the the... Main reason for our day out was to visit friends who live just outside North Berwick. Well, we thought they lived in North yes. Berwick, didn't we? Well, you thought they lived in North Berwick. Well, I thought they did. <laughs> they give us me. They give me yeah. the postcard. Yeah. So anyway, we arrived in North Berwick, had a drive around, liked well, what we saw quick, very much. Well, then we did the sensible thing. We punched the postcode into the sat nav, didn't yep. we? Yeah. Which is what we should have done before we got there. Realised they were twenty minutes away. Yeah. Anyway, we went oh, yeah, to see didn't them. Matter. Didn't matter. Anyway, um, they give us a uh, great reception. Took us out for a drive. A nice drive out along the coast towards um, Portobello, just yep. the outskirts of Edinburgh there. And, and we ended up back in North Berwick anyway, Yep, didn't we? out by the harbour again. again. It was a real harbour tour yeah, this day, was. wasn't it? It was. And it was, it was, it was wonderful, really, because it was late afternoon. Yep. And the and sun was out. And do you remember all them people sitting around yeah. the harbour walkway? Yep. Yeah, the old pier, I think they call it, yeah. <coughs> Unbelievable, and mm. and it it was so warm. You mm. could have you walked around in a t-shirt. Even that, that was nearly half past four, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was five o'clock. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. And and yes, it was it was really really nice. And it was a great drive by William. Yep. Went out in his uh, CRV. His yep. CRV. Yeah. Newer one than us. Newer one. Very nice it was too. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> anyway, and then yep. after that great um, experience around that harbour, yep. we went back. And they fed us. Yeah, even better. <laughs> even better. Had a beer for me. Yep. Not for you. No, I've been good. You was being good. You were driving. Uh, fabulous. I don't know how she knew I like cottage pie, mm. but it was, it was beautiful, yep. wasn't it? Um, so, thank you, William and mm. Heather. Yep. Um, That's terrific, it was wasn't it? Great afternoon. Great to catch up again. Great to catch up, and and it really was. Mm. And the, the meal was just mm. super. Oh, because that trifle after yes. as well. I think I might have had more than one helping. More than one well, helping, yeah, three. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. Mm. Anyway, so it was great. Anyway, anyway, we, we then just flitted home, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, got back fairly late, I believe. Um, Wednesday. Wednesday, we stayed this side of the border on Wednesday. Weather wasn't as good. It was a bit cloudy, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we headed out to the villages of Ford and Ital. And these are actually listed in the caravan club leaflet yeah and i suppose you'd say they're sort of tourist villages if you like yeah. but you get to Ital first what would you say it's about a 15 minute drive 15 from the minute site. drive yeah yeah You've got Ital castle there um that was a train go by yeah. i don't know if you heard it Ital castle there um english heritage but it didn't open until no. april i don't think or did yeah, it or, we, or we, might have been the, the, end, whole end trip, of next the whole week. trip so far, nothing's open until <laughs> next week. Yeah, a so, <laughs> week know, early, but never and, mind. And uh, that's another arrival just going by. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, <laughs> it's the trouble with doing an outside broadcast. Yes, I know. These distractions. Those technological things you I have know. to overcome. Unbelievable. Anyway, um, yeah, but it was a nice little drive out, and we, we managed to get done quite a bit before the rain comes. Yeah, we? well, from there's actually a little narrow gauge steam train that yeah. runs in season from Ital round, it follows the river round to Heatherslaw mm. and you've got a working water mill there as well. Do you remember we stopped yeah. there next? Yeah, we did. That was nice. And then just a little bit further up, you've got the village of Ford. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Because that was like some big country um, estate. Yeah. And with estate cottages and, you know, and you could almost see, you know, the managers were living in one sort of housing. Mm. And mm. the labourers were living in another sort, but it was all on this estate, wasn't it? Yep. Um, which was really, really good. And there's a castle there. There is a castle. As you, if you're driving from Ital, the castle comes into view as you come around the bend, and it looks yeah. great. And we the sad really thing is, get a photo, could we? 
Well, we could have done if we bothered to get out and walk. Yeah, but, <laughs> but no, but, but it's 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 now an educational. Yeah, I was going to say it's not open to visitors. So no, and it's unfortunately, <laughs> you know, uh, getting out of your car and taking photographs. Of, yeah, uh, you know, a place where there might be kids around. Yeah, it's perhaps is, not the best thing to do. You know, we work at a school, so we <coughs> we know only too well that you shouldn't do that. Yeah. So, so we we never really got a picture of it. I, I sort mm. of looked in the gate, didn't I? But yeah. never, you know. Um, it, yes, an outward bound yep. place for, for young adults, yep. kids, and one thing or another. Yep. It's a beautiful castle, mm. isn't it? It's it residential. Really, really nice. Residential. Yeah. So it's, again, it's worth worth a look. Anyway, we continued then and went to a place yep. that we see on the A1. We've seen the signs for it many times. Wooler or Wooler. I'm not yeah, sure how it's pronounced. It's, pronounced yeah. um, it's quite inland, yeah. inland a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Popular, clearly, with walkers as a gateway to the hills and Northumberland. Um, yeah park there yeah, um, yeah. we walked as far as a calf didn't we yeah another cake <laughs> tea and another cake it was, yeah it was, it was really nice and it was then the rain i think the rain appeared didn't the rain it? started so to come but that's a back. very nice it is a town isn't it a yeah. market town yeah. um you, again it's worth one of them you know you've got nothing better to do one day have a drive out yeah um you know and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake because it's it's really mm. pleasant isn't it yeah so that was wednesday really because we drove back did i cook um, I think you did actually. Yeah, yeah. You learned how the oven worked again, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> quite good this week. Yeah. Actually, we've been pretty good. Yeah. We're not tonight, by the way, but you know. Anyway, that's another story. Thursday. Right. How are we doing for time? Do you need a? Um... Go on then. We'll have one of these pauses. Right. Okay. Back in a minute. I could pause here all day, actually. It's, yeah, it's, it's not it's, bad, it's, is it? It's very pla- the only thing lacking is drink. Yes, well, we'll, we'll make up for that later. Anyway. Don't worry, it won't happen again. Right. I can assure you. Wednesday? No, Thursday. What am I saying? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, give Rosie a rest on Thursday yeah, and yeah. got on the train. Yeah. Before we talk about Edinburgh, because that's where we went on the train. Yes. Don't forget our competition. There has been clues during the week. The mileage. It? The mileage. Mm. Um, I'll give you a sneaky preview at the moment. Just this week alone. I think we're up to nearly 280 miles. Since we've been here? Since we've been on the site. Um, okay. So forget the drive, because mm. they can work that out easy, can't yep. they? But the clue is 280 up to Saturday. Yes. Still got another day, Yep. and there will be further clues on Twitter. Anyway, Edinburgh, yes. Our reason for going to Edinburgh was we've been to Edinburgh before. We've done, yeah, it's our first year of caravan, actually. 2012, yeah. we stayed on the caravan club site at Silver Knolls, just yeah. outside the city. Um, so we've done a lot of the, sort of the touristy things then, like the castle, Royal Yacht, Yacht Britannia. Yeah, and it's still but, one of, you know. We thought it's, it's relatively close. Um, and we knew it was- 40 minutes on the train? F- yeah, 40, 42 minutes, something like that. And the train hugs the coast a lot of the way yeah. as well. So it was nice to see, see that again. Uh, but the main reason really was to, uh, Catch, catch up, up catch up with more friends, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and and we d- we did the sensible thing as well because it was a bitterly cold day. Yeah. Um, with the train tickets, we got the bus plus. Yeah, plus bus. Plus bus. Unlimited use of local buses for an yeah. extra two pound fifty each. And we we're not the best people to traipse around shops. We don't really enjoy it, do we? No. Um, apart from when we've got something to buy, um, and because we'd been to a lot of places around Edinburgh, you know, we just didn't want to make to the castle or make to this particular place because we've yep. done it haven't we yep. so we thought what we'll do is we'll jump on and off buses didn't we and with the plus bus two pound fifty each yep on top of the uh, yeah. the train ticket yeah so we jumped on and off buses when we got there after a coffee didn't we yep and and then we made our first pit stop to meet someone yes um an ex-pupil it <laughs> sounds dodgy doesn't it it's incredible it's it <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's one of your pupils. That he used, used to be, be on my, he was bus. on my school bus when I started. Yeah, how did he grow up? Yeah, and mm. he left, well, coming up to two, two years, years ago, ago and yeah. is up at uh, University of Edinburgh. So he's, what, 20 now, isn't he? Yeah, um, just, just it, over here. It, 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 it really is strange to see these kids, you know, go from kids to yeah. men. Yeah. And we sat in a bar with him, you yeah. know, drinking beer, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and it was really nice of Andrew, and if Andrew does watch this, I don't know if he does. He's perhaps got better things to do <laughs> yeah, living in Edinburgh. So. <laughs> um, it was it was really nice to meet up with him, weren't yeah. it? It was good for you because obviously you knew him better. He was on your yeah. bus, wasn't he? Mm. Um, I only briefly knew yeah. him, you know, from bits and pieces. 
Um, but it was it was really good mm. to meet him, and it was very nice of him because he wanted to do it. Yeah, he? yeah, he's very know, keen. He, yeah, he, you know, it was him who wanted to meet. Squeeze us in between lessons or before he did, a lesson. Didn't he? <laughs> he did. It was quite good, really. So that was very nice. So yeah. after we had a nice beer with him, um, well, I wouldn't say it was the nicest beer no, in the world. Well, it was good company. Yeah, the beer was. The beer was fizzy and overpriced, but, course, but yeah. next time we meet, I shall be choosing the pub. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we then went hopping and off buses again in the afternoon. Yeah, we went we? out to um, the Ocean Terminal where the Royal yeah. Yacht Britannia is. Yeah, but and we again yeah, come back route. a different different route. Different route. That route we come back on was beautiful, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I could live around that area. That yeah. that was really really nice. Very nice. Even for an inner ta- inner city area that yep. was really really nice wasn't it yep. it's it's just before you get to the i don't know if people know edinburgh but it's just before you get to the lewis's um department mm, store and shopping yep. center there it's really nice isn't it? yes um so yeah then it was again time to find a pub yes got back just in time to meet up with amanda and alison who and we chose the pub this time we did chose the pub it must have had about 20 different real hours <laughs> yeah it? it had enough to be going on with yes yeah, sadly i didn't get anywhere near no, the way through and, but and, um, we and had a, had a great evening didn't we best be arrival though was it no first one was a bit dodgy yeah, they, second one was was better i think the scottish are trying to do real owl but they they're sort of trying to do it that it makes it look like lager doesn't it it's you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was, was okay. of, yeah it was, it was good it was, the the pub was a cracking pub though, yeah wasn't it? yeah pub. Pro- old sort of victorian pub yeah good food yeah cracking Do you food remember? Guildford Arms, wasn't it? Guildford Arms, West Register Street, opposite the station, Balmoral yeah, Hotel, Balmoral, so yeah. right by Waverley, yeah, so which, is, which is good. I recommend the pub. Yep. Um, you know, obviously, I don't know, you you perhaps choose better beer than us, but um, it's certainly got a big enough choice. Well, if we'd have stayed longer, I could have made a more, you know, yeah. more, some yeah. more thorough research. So, yeah, we had a... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was Edinburgh. It was great to meet up with Alison and Amanda, wasn't it? Yep. Um, Alison and Amanda... We first met them on social media. Yep. And they were with us on the very first Twitter camp, weren't they? Which is nearly five years ago. Five years scary, ago. Scary, isn't it? Scary, yeah. And funny enough, we're meeting another Twitty, Twitter camp yeah. um, oldie and thirsty. Yep. Uh, David, uh, well, did you say week. he was thirsty? <laughs> he, he will be thirsty, <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> no. Yeah, um, seen him in uh, about 10 days or so. 10 days or so. Which would yeah. be good. So that would be good. Anyway, further on, we got home quite late, didn't we? Yep. Um, for that Friday. Was Friday. Friday. Um, we went down the A1 to Annick. Annick. Now, now last hang, time we was. Hang on a bit, yeah. Annick. Annick. Do you know what I mean? No wonder we have problems in this country with speech and spelling. Well, and not everything. not everyone does, Trev. Well, <laughs> I do. And I know there's there's a lot of kids struggle, and you've got to struggle with English when a teacher says to you, spell Annick. Yeah. And you just automatically go to A-N, wouldn't you? Well, it depends if you live around here or not. You'd know it was spelled A-L-N, wouldn't you? Yeah, but... I was reliably Kel- informed the last time he was here that that's how the locals pronounce it, and that's good enough for me. Sometimes the English language, you know, you know, Anik. Where's the L? Yeah. I don't know. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished having right. a rant. Right, yes. Great place, though. Yeah, we called it very briefly last time. We, we give it a... Stopped this time and parked up and I, the town I like, I love the town a lot, the sort of them cobbled yeah. side bits where we parked from that. Yeah, we um, nice some nice sort of traditional that, shops that there. Yeah, yeah. The, the cafe was good. Yeah. Jacket but, potato I think I had. Yeah, he was almost healthy, wasn't he? Almost, you? yeah. yeah. A, pile, a pile of chilli on top yeah. of me. Yeah. I had cheese, toasty with yep. chips, so I weren't so healthy. Um, but there again, I've got a tablet. <laughs> um, anyway, Anik, the best bit about Anik, we both said, mm was possibly the outskirts and the countryside. Lovely place to walk around, but when you yeah. when you go out on some of the roads out, you've first you've got the castle. That castle's stunning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, particularly from outside the town, town rather than facing up. it. Yep. We, we, we drove out the town, and if you get me, when you went out the town, you go past the castle, bare left a bit, yep. go over the river. Over the little bridge there. Have a, have a look at the castle yeah. from there. Yeah. It's stunning, It's isn't beautiful, it? yep. And, and, and the whole countryside, the river, yep. it's just stunning from back yep. there, isn't it? Um, he may put some pictures floating through the air. Um, floating through the air? I don't know. They come, they, I don't know where they're going to go. They're going to be out there in the sea yeah, tonight. Are, yeah. I don't know where they're going to go. Anyway, it, it really is. And 
we, we went in this park as well. Yeah, a uh, Hoon Park, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, I got a sawmill or something there as well. We didn't yeah. go in far enough to. Well, we walked hundred it, yards. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite enough for one day. You can't take the car in there, can you? No. So, so um, no. You know, we walked a little way, but it's a beautiful forest. Yep. Isn't there's it? they list uh, three tracks on the information board there between four and six miles. So yeah. so great for walkers, especially those of our four-legged friends too. Yeah. It'd be, be, be a good spot yeah, if to you've take. Got a, take if you've got them. a dog, that's that's the place to go, isn't it? Really. Yep. Anyway, we left there, but we come back into town then, didn't we, as well? Yes. And we've been recommended a bookshop, haven't we? Yep. By uh, our neighbour. Our neighbour, Catherine, who was on the pitch. Um, Just at the side of us. Yeah, we've interacted a bit on social media social and media. Twitter in the past, yeah. but found her. Anyway, it was great to be on site. This is the second site we've been yep. on and met people that we know on social media. It's, it's really becoming a habit, actually. We're getting too well known, you know. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't know either, really. Anyway, um, she recommended this bookshop. Yeah, Barter Books. Um, it's set in the old railway station building. There's no station there anymore, oh. sadly. But it's the most fantastic collection of, of second-hand books I've ever seen. It's it's so well organised Yeah, well, it's got it? nice little reading areas with carpets and comfortable chairs, real fires, and then yeah. just to the right in the old waiting room, you've got the cafe. And I can't think of a better place to spend a few it's, hours. It's, it's, it's the brilliant. tidiest bookshop yeah. you know, you could go in. Whoever started it certainly knew what they were doing, didn't yeah. they? Because it's it's like walking into the National Library or it's, something. It, it, it really is terrific. I it, could have spent hours there. And it's yeah. all logged and yeah. and I think they know where every single yep. book is. Yeah, they've got a proper catalogue system and everything. And again, you can look it up on computer. You'll see some photographs out of sea somewhere. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's where <laughs> um, because they are, you know, and I, we did manage to get some photographs of yep. it, and it looks really mm. good, doesn't it? It's, it's another must, must do yeah, thing. Well worth a visit when you're in. But Annie. If, if you like your books, um, prepare to spend a bit of time there because yeah. it's 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 well worth it. I bet most books there use the L's. Do you reckon? Yeah. Anyway, again, that was Friday. Right. Um, was it? That was Friday, Trev, yes. That was Friday. And we come back, I cooked again, didn't I? You did, yes. In a habit. Was that the second time in a row? I know. Could have to stop yeah. this, you know. Right, anyway, Saturday. So, where are we Saturday, today? Today, we returned to the holy island of Lindisfarne. Oh, Lindisfarne, yeah. Well, hang on a minute. Yeah. Is it is it Lindisfarne mm. or is it Holy Island? Well, the official title is the holy island of Lindisfarne. Oh, right. And do you know why? Why? That's what the road sign says. Oh, I thought you were being knowledgeable. <laughs> no, don't be silly. <laughs> anyway, it's a stunning place, isn't yep. it? Unfortunately, the castle is closed <laughs> until the 1st of Castle's April. Castle's being renovated, yeah. <coughs> but they're uh, reopening on the 1st of April, aren't they? Apparently, yes. Even with all the scaffolding <laughs> yeah. up, um, it is going to be reopening yep. on the 1st of April. So I was reliably um, informed. Yep by some young man this morning. Yep. Um, anyway, we had a good look round the, the Priory. The priory. Um, it was just stunning. We sat there and let the world go by, didn't yep. we, and had a good walk round. It's just, it's, it's just, when you get there, it's just so quiet and calming, yeah, and you, you must, just you must do it. immediately feel sort of more relaxed and, and chilled. I love it there, I really do. Whatever you do, if you're in this area, it's a must-do thing. Yep. You have to watch the tides, though, yep. don't you? Check the tides. Obviously, um, at, at some point at high tide, the causeway shuts. Yeah, and try and you, do it on a day like we did because yeah. it's beautiful out there, isn't it? Um, yep. It really is. Some lovely little tea rooms as well, plus pubs. Um, but yeah, some cracking yep. little tea rooms, isn't there? Yep. So that's a must. All you got to do. Anyway, on the way back, yes. Um, we did go off the road, off the A1 a bit, and we found this golf course. I can't remember what it was even called now. Uh, Gosick or something, was it? Yeah, yeah. It's just like down the end of the track, yeah. You just went miles, didn't yeah. you? And, and all of a sudden, this fabulous golf course. Mm. <laughs> you think, oh, yeah. right. Okay. Right on the coast, and beautiful. And it's right on the coast. Yeah. And, and today, there was there was loads mm. playing golf, weren't yeah. there? But you can just imagine on a, on a bleak day, it would have been all the yeah. way out there. <laughs> anyway, and then we found the little bit that you see at the start of this video. Yep, it's literally what? Three or four minute drive up the road, right. Cocklawban Beach. Absolutely yep. beautiful. It's a must. Yep. Again, when you're staying at this site, mm. isn't yep. it? Yeah, go, go and Especially check it out. Especially in the summer. Yes. It's, you know, take a picnic. It's just mm. absolutely beautiful. Anyway, really, that's the trip up to That's now, it so far. It? We've got one day 
left, left to here, do, um, which, which obviously we're going to do the town. We're going tomorrow. to Berwick tomorrow, yes. So we'll 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 tell you a bit more about that in next week. So yes. Whatever happens in the you know in the week in between, um, but that's really it for for this week. <coughs> anyway, before we do the dead, which I know you can't wait for, and there's some really good ones this week. Now before we do the dead, yes. Um, last week on Andrew Ditton's live broadcast. Yep. He was asked, would the bigger channels yep. um, try and support the smaller channels? Yep. And I think he was quite right mm. when he said that it's up to us all to support each other. Yeah, you know what I could say here, don't you? Right. Well, following the announcement by YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm not going no, to. No, it, 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 it's up to us all to, to support each other. So we're going to do a little thing because I quite agree we need to support yeah, each we'll other. We'll try and do this every week. And we're going to, we? yeah, every week we will try and do this. We're going to do it mainly with vloggers. We will be bringing vloggers into it as yes, well. But yes. we're going to start off with vloggers because that's what this guy was on about asking yep. Andrew for support. We're going to mention two vloggers that we follow yep. every week. Yep. Um, the two we're going to bring you this week. One of them, I don't know whether you will have followed him, actually. Um, I really enjoy following him. It's Lee. Yeah, Lee's Nomadic is the YouTube channel. And Lee has uh, moved into his caravan full time. He has, he's yeah. He's sold his flat. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's basically living... trying to do an Andrew Dick. Well, yeah, I mean, if you like, he does it. but but he's videoing his learning process about right? getting the weight right and, yeah. and and solar panels and yeah, and, he's a big he's a bit geeky sometimes, isn't he? Yeah, he, he likes his you know geeky stuff and he you know he is a very enjoyable watch. Yeah, um, it's it's actually fun watching him how he's and his, his learning how he's he's learning to to, to to caravan full time effectively. And, yeah, and, and if you do watch this, Lee, I don't know if you watch us, but. I think you do watch us actually because at Christmas I've got an apology to make. We saw him on site yep. at Christmas, didn't we? We saw him there on the the day we had to go up to Brighton. Yep. So we thought, oh, we'll make contact when we get back. Yep. And he'd gone, hadn't yeah. he? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Anyway, he come back on site right. at Cherry Hinton, didn't he? Yeah. And I saw him in the shower. But it was the day your mum's funeral, funeral, wasn't it? And so I was obviously. in a rush again. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, Lee. Next time we do see you on site, we will we're going to we're gonna have to, you know, link up better and have a chat and over a beer or something um, because we do enjoy your videos. He might not so, want to talk to us. No. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. But yes, anyway, that's our first that. shout out. Yep. Who's our second shout second out? Second one is Lost Weekends. Now, Juliet Lost, and Phil. Juliet and Phil. Now, Fairly Lost Weekend. recent yeah, comments, I think. I think. So. Yeah. What the videos I like most. Yeah. what Phil's doing. Yeah. Not that I don't like you, Juliet, because I do. I'm getting myself deep in it. It's just the one that that Phil does about the second-hand caravan. Yes, the caravan of the month and so on. I yeah. think that is absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Because, you know, we're going to be doing some more to help first-time buyers yeah. and beginners. Um, I think it's a cracking way of people who are thinking of buying a caravan to look at his site, mm. he reviews everything's under ten thousand or something. Yep, I think that's his. That's and then his he's done some really good value ones, and he's very thorough in his review as well, he which really I like. Yeah, you get a really good look around the van. Not only that, if you've got if you've got an older caravan and you want to sort of get some idea of what it could be worth, yep. or, or something like that, or you're thinking of updating from a really old one to a, yep. a mid range or something like that, follow him. He yep. does it. Does yeah. it really, really well? And you get a it good idea of what you get for your money yeah. as well. It does other yeah. videos, but, yeah. but I'm really keen we do like on, those ones, on, don't we? on them ones as mm. well. Anyway, that's our two share. Outs. Yeah. Shall I put links below? Put links below. Pro I, hope you haven't asked. I hope everybody else um, could do the same. It, you know, just the people you enjoy watching. And I'm not talking about Andrew and Trudge and people like them. You know, we all watch them. Mm -hmm. If there's sort of someone who's slightly different. Yeah. Um, I think that would would be great, don't you? Mm. Um, you know, and it, it, it just, I don't know, it gives that moral support as well, doesn't yes. it? So that's our two. We'll do two more next week. Yep. Or at least one anyway. Yes. Um, and and we'll, we'll be doing that every week from now on, yeah? Anyway, I know you, I know you want to get onto this bit, don't you? It's that time again. It's that time again. <laughs> Who died this day yep. or this weekend? This weekend. Some time ago. In history. In history.
Okay, we should explain. <laughs> we had a technical hitch. Because I think you will have noticed we're back inside. Yes. <laughs> the camera went on halfway through the dead. Yes, I've got to the dead again. Yeah, here we go again. Anyway, Richard, the dead. The dead, yes. Who died this day? Or this weekend. This weekend. In any, history. In, in history. Right, first one, Billy Cotton. Billy Cotton, mm. I remember Billy Cotton. Yes, um, before before my time. Before but, your um, time, yes. Yep. But Billy, band, band leader or something? Band, and, band yeah. leader, entertainer, yep. TV and radio. And he had a famous stay, saying at mm. the beginning of all of his shows. Uh, comments down below. If, if you, you know what it is. If you know, and there's no wine because he's getting upset. I'll keep yeah. giving his wine away. Um, but yes, if you, if you can remember, I suppose it, you'd call it a catchphrase. In them days, I don't think mm. they called it a catchphrase. But it was his uh, catchphrase at the beginning of all his shows, radio yep. and television, I believe. Um, so put your comments below if you can remember it. Yeah. 1969, he died. 69? Yes. The year I left school? Yes. Two years before I was born. Yes, Richard. You're only a baby, aren't you? <laughs> well compared. <laughs> right. So age, next, is next all, one. age is all in the mind. Yes, dear. Yes. Right. Bernard Montgomery. I ain't got a clue who he is. Probably better known as Field Marshal Monty. Oh, I remember Field. <laughs> yes, yep. I'm, everyone who knows anything knows Monty. Yeah. Knows Monty. Alamein and all that. Uh, exactly. Desert rats. Yep. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> anyone who knows anything about the Second World War will, will know, will of, know Monty. of Monty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 1976. He passed on. Aged 88. So, well, so he done well. Yep. Good age in them days. Indeed, yeah. I know people are living longer now, but yeah, yeah that was good. good. Yeah. Um, last but not least, uh, Brian Trubshaw. Ain't got a clue. No. Uh, he died uh, this weekend in 2001, yeah, age 77. He? he was the first person to pilot a new plane called Concorde. Yeah, yep. yeah that on. must have been quite quite something yeah, you know i always wanted to fly on concord yeah i've actually been on concord but only in a museum yeah in like a museum, me <laughs> yeah um and and the, the one i've been on was at duxford yep and it was the prototype yep number two yep which was the french one yep because they had hars which was number one yes obviously yeah uh, but yes, I always wanted to go on Concord. I was always going to do a transit it's landing. It's a bit pricey though, wasn't it? Yeah, you'd never pay, would you? <laughs> never had the money. <laughs> no. I'll tell you something else. What? Even if it was flying, I still haven't. No. So tight. <laughs> Any, anyway, so that's it for this week. Yes. Episode 12. Episode 12, yeah. Brought to you on location yep. outside. Yes, well, well, some of it. Some of it. <laughs> Finished up. And with next week, we'll be coming from Northumberland again. Yep. Bit further south near uh, Whitley Bay, and we'll do an outside broadcast again if it's nice. Well, if if the weather is as forecast, it won't be outside. No, because it's going to be more snow on the way. Isn't we'll it? see what comes. Beast from the east. Part three. Part three. Allegedly, and that's not you arriving, David. By the <laughs> way, <laughs> no, that's the next site. No, that's the next. <laughs> right. So anyway, it, I can't say cheers. No, because because we're a bit bit dry. It's good night from him, and it's good afternoon. From me. Bye. Till next time. See ya.